How are you enjoying life in Beirut? Well, we've been having a very nice time yeah. in Beirut, in fact. Yeah. This story, in essence, is about an American diplomat who's stationed in Beirut. And his wife is killed in a terrorist attack. And he leaves that world behind. He suffers a profound tragedy, and it takes a little while for him to pull himself out of that. Mason Skiles has a check. $6,500 and a first class ticket. I wouldn't go back to Beirut if it was the last place on Earth. It's a serious request, Mason. They know that. Tell them I don't have the passport. They put one in there with the ticket. He was being completely devastated by his experience in Beirut, who was then pulled back against his will by the CIA. So he returns to this wrecked city. He himself is a wrecked soul. Maybe one of you could tell me what I'm doing here. Three nights ago, an American was pulled off the street in West Beirut. They have the guy they want to talk. They want you to broker the deal. They asked for you specifically. Your friend Cal, he's the hostage. When there is a hostage situation, it's not just about one man, it's about the whole network of assets. Cal's the head of all Mideast operations. Do you understand what that means? He talks. you would be waiting for bodies to pile up on the embassy sidewalk. Beirut was in the early 80s, about five or six years into the Civil War. A lot of people in the US embassy at the time were saying, who is the bad guy? Who is the good guy? What does he want me to do? Negotiate. It was changed quite a bit in the past seven years. You'll find Mr. Skiles. We wrote Born Ultimatum here in Morocco, and I realized it was the perfect place to recreate Beirut in the 1980s. In the movie, the urban stuff looked very much like Beirut during the Civil War. It looked very realistic. What do you want? I will track Al Arayle for the return of my brother. It was the Paris of the Middle East, a melting pot of different nationalities. The winter of 1982, just prior to the Israeli invasion, is a particularly explosive time. Give us the green light. We could clear this place out. And give Israel the keys to the city? Really, the thing that I responded to most just about the script in general was that it's a kind of movie that doesn't really get made that much anymore. The smart adult film, the kind of international spy story. It's like a massive chess game with some very serious consequences. 2,000 years of revenge, vendetta, murder. Welcome to Beirut.